Our first live guest this morning has worked with so many of your favorite artists. We're talking about T.I., Mary J. Blige, Keith Sweat, and so many more. Now, he's running towards creating better opportunities for our youth. That's right. Here with us is veteran music executive and philanthropist Rick Ross. So Good glad morning. you're here. Thank you for having me. You are kind of clanging on that metal, <laughs> metal on metal. And the only time metal on metal sounds and is good for you is all of these metals because yeah. they are heavy. They're I want to say this yeah. is six pounds maybe? Well, let me feel yours. No, maybe three pounds. Thank you for letting us wear your metal. It's heavy. No, no problem. Let's talk about we're this so, Yeah, we're so yeah. glad you're here. We really want to talk about your nonprofit first. Uh, dive into why this is so important, this nonprofit for you. Well, I, I founded Music Education Group about 20 years ago. Just being in the entertainment industry for the last 37 years, kids always coming up to me and asking me about how can I be in the entertainment industry most of them want to be artists. Um, as I was developing the programs, I said, you know what, we, we really want to focus on the business side of the industry. Not everybody can be an artist. Mm -hmm. You know, I spent 37 years behind the mic. You know, this is, for me being on stage right now, I norm, I'm normally backstage yeah. and the artists are up here. Yeah. But it was important for us to expose them to the, the business side of the, of the industry. So. Our mission is to teach life skills and career development through music, film, and digital media. Mm. Beautiful. Yes. Now, um, you are kind of blending all of your passions mm -hmm. together here, your passion yeah. for music and exposing it to the next generation and also running. Yes. You're combining those two things um, with, now, Underground Circus? <laughs> Is what that, is this? Because we, when we read the title, we were like, oh, is there a new circus in town? We yes. haven't heard about that. It's not at all what it is. Tell people what's yeah. going on. It's an ultra marathon. Uh, and for people who don't know what an ultra marathon is, it's anything over 26 miles. Okay. Over an average marathon, which is 26.2. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, the founder of the Underground Railroad, Jamila Muhammad, is a season, season ultra runner as well. So uh, last year I did her Gemini 100, which I only did 50. So mm. this and when year, you say 100, you're talking about 100, 100 miles. miles. Yes, <laughs> now, yes, 100 miles. So I didn't do the I didn't do the Gemini 100 last year. I only did 50. Uh, the race would take place at the Silver Comet. Now people mm -hmm. might say, "Are you going?" to, People ask me all the time, "Are you going to run straight through?" Mm -hmm. No, no, <laughs> I'm not going to run straight through. It's a 10 mile loop, which mm -hmm. we go out and come back. So I have to do that okay. 10 okay. times. Okay. Uh, so I do have time to rest, right. sit down and eat a little something mm -hmm. and then go back out. So uh, I did the uh, 50 and 13 hours. Wow. Wow. Well, clearly so, you've got some experience, but would you break yeah. it down for us? What is the training like to prepare for something? I mean, you, you don't do 100 miles straight, mm -hmm. but still your That's body is going through all of that regimen. So walk us through what that looks like. Well, my, my, my average week, I'm averaging about 60 miles a week. Oh, wow. So wow. about 10 miles a day. Uh, wow. And then getting in some strength training. Okay. Uh, trying to eat as eat. healthy as I can. Mm -hmm. Right. But I love to eat, so, you And know. you live in the South, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> a combination. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but I, I, I try to be realistic in my diet and the things that I, mm -hmm. that I eat. I still love hamburgers. Mm. Uh, you know, can yeah, you got to get a good hamburger. Mm -hmm. in. But, Carbo load. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but you know, it's you know, running running ultra marathons mm -hmm. um, is not something that your average person doing, especially for blacks. You don't see a lot mm. of black people running ultra marathons. When I ran my first marathon in 2007, you hardly ever seen a, mm -hmm. you know blacks running that type of distance, five mm -hmm. k's, ten k's things of that nature, but when it got into marathons, half marathons and ultras, you don't see a lot of people doing it. I mean, the last race that I ran, we only had like 10 people to run. Mm. Uh, that race. So, mm. so this weekend you'll training. be doing the 100 miles. Mm -hmm. I'll be doing 100 so, miles. Do you have a projection for, since you said you did 50 in about 13 hours, yeah. what do you, how long do you think it'll take you to do these 100 miles this weekend? Um, I never try to put a time mm -hmm. on it. Mm -hmm. I just go out and have fun. Yeah. And that's the whole thing about running these type of races. I don't even call it a race because uh, I'm not running against anybody. Right. And I never, I, I've never approached any race that I ran being competitive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, just for do it me, for the joy. I just yeah. do it because I love it. Well, you do a lot because you love it. You've yeah. got your nonprofit, you're running, but you also have an apparel yes, yes. company here. Talk about what you're wearing here because it's like, yes, huh? yes. Yeah. Uh, Boat Running Club yeah. is a premium active wear and leisure lifestyle brand for runners. Um, 
buying clothes, mm -hmm. buying other people's clothes for years. Uh, I just decided that I wanted to create my own brand to wear my own clothes. So we're in development now Great. of working on the premium activewear stuff, but also a way to um, give back to MEG. Mm -hmm. So portions of the proceeds that we sell from any merchandise or any apparel a proceed so that goes right back into MEG. Okay, perfect. So it was an easy way for me to say, hey, I'm giving back to my own organization. Right, and with it's my mu own brand. music education group. We want to make sure everybody knows yes, what MEG music is. Music education yes, group. Yes, perfect. Yes. Wonderful. Yeah. So the running, the apparel line, basically mm -hmm. everything you do in some way ends up coming back to the kids. Always, always. Love it. Uh, love it. Always had a love for, the, uh, you know, for working with the youth. We have some great partnerships with the city of Atlanta Parks and Recs. Uh, with Atlanta Public Schools, where we actually put a recording studio in Best Academy earlier this year. Uh, Fulton County Schools, mm -hmm. which uh, we will be launching two new studios at Westlake High School in Langston Hughes coming in the fall. Wow. Uh, we're also partners with the Save the Music Foundation, which we're in about 17 schools where we go in and help the teachers so they can teach the kids how to use the hardware and yeah. software. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so we have a lot of great things going on. Mm. And we're, we're going to be announcing something real big with the city of Atlanta, hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Right. So we got okay. another big announcement but You coming. keep us, yeah, keep yes. us in the loop, in the loop on yes. that. Yes. Yes. Especially because they're cutting yes. music programs at schools across the country. They are cutting music this programs, is great. yes. Great. And the, the whole mission for us with the fundraiser, uh, we wanted to build a state-of-the-art mobile studio unit mm -hmm. because we do get a lot of requests to come to other counties and cities. Yeah. And we wanted to be able to ha let the kids have the same experience that any of our kids would have if they were in one of our facilities. We love that. So to build this mobile studio to take around to, you know, whether we're going to Macon or Columbus mm -hmm. or wherever we were going, we wanted the kids to have that same experience if, if they were were in, in one yeah. of our locations. Rick Ross, we could talk to you for hours. Yes, we <laughs> you know, we've got we, we gotta go to the break. But we thank you so much for being here. Thank Thanks you for, for doing the Lord's me. work. Thanks for having me. We'll have all that information on ATL Live Show.